Hey y'all, today we're gonna show you how we make cheesy spaghetti squash in a slow cooker. Oh, while having a whole lot of fun. So we're just gonna... You ever seen the movie Psycho? <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And this, right here, the founder, the master, the owner of RecipesThatCrock.com, my beautiful wife, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hi. Welcome back to our kitchen. Thanks. What are you making today? Today we are going to make crock pot cheesy spaghetti squash in our crock pot. There's a crock pot. There's a squash. Yes. You'll get your cheese later. Yes. You want some now? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. So um, the beginning of this recipe is super, super simple. We are only making a half batch because this makes a massive batch of cheesy spaghetti squash. So the full version does. Um, but our half batch is going to use one spaghetti squash. Can I see that? Yes. Thank you. I'm afraid you're going to throw it somewhere. Oh, it's like a little football. My wife likes to talk with her hands. so. Don't let her hold your yes. baby while you're having a conversation. <laughs> so what we need to do, well, that's going to be really bad because I'm going to start stabbing this. <laughs> yes. So what we need to do to begin with with this recipe, let's not, let's not be, it's a squash. I it's mean. a squash, um, not a baby. Is we are going to just cook the spaghetti squash in the slow cooker. That is the... That was the magic word of the day. <laughs> We're going to just um, put this on to cook in the slow cooker. We aren't even going to cut this in half first. Um, the original recipe, when we first started cooking with spaghetti squash, we went to the labor of cutting it in half. And then we realized you can cook these babies whole. And then after they're done it's cooking, not a baby. they're much, <laughs> they're much easier to cut in half and then be able to scoop things out. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to first, we're going to pierce this with a knife just several times on the outside like you would a baked potato. And then we're going to go ahead, even though this is a half batch, and um, still cook this in a full cup of broth. So, that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to... You ever seen the movie Psycho? <laughs> I shouldn't say that maybe this close. Maybe you should. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just man if, the camera and watch you stand here. If I could stab this without hurting myself and stare you down at the same time, I hey, would. Hey, look, there's Chris's phone. Yeah. There's my phone. That's what was ringing a while ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Don't cut yourself, please. Or your husband. <laughs> okay, so this guy just Straight goes in, in the pot. a five or six quart slow cooker. And we're going to pour a full cup of broth over it just to give it enough to really create some steam in there. Put the lid on, cook it for on high for four to five hours, um, just until you can take the, a knife and really easily <laughs> cut through. I'm just gonna go over here while you finish <laughs> up. Really easily be able to slide the knife in and out so that you, whenever you cut it, um, then that's gonna give us our spaghetti squash. And then we'll, we, will, we will assemble the rest, all the cheesy, yummy goodness, um, after it's done cooking the initial uh, four to five hours. So we will see you here back in three, two, one. And we are back. Um, <laughs> so daddy had a little bit of an emergency. Everybody is okay. However, we, uh, he had to step away. So Addie is here with me so we can finish. Um, we are gonna take just one short step uh, and let this cool off um, in between takes of another recipe and then we'll be back after we do that. So what we got right now is we have our spaghetti squash, I believe that's cooked about five hours, four to five hours. We, like I said, we had some other stuff going on. So, um, <laughs> so it ended up going an extra hour, but that should make it super tender for us to be able to get out. And what I am going to do, if you can hand me those black, or not black, the red mitts, baby girl. Okay. And we are going to pull this sucker out and cut it in half so it can start cooling off before we start scooping it out and making the rest of the recipe. Because we don't want to burn ourselves. No. It is oh. super duper mushy, okay. as you can see. It's not squished. It would have definitely been a, done at four hours. It's all going to depend on the size of your... Um, squash. So you could say that it got squashed. The squash got squashed. Good, good, good job. Okay.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a knife to just cut through this. Do you want to record that to see how squashy my squash is? Very squashy. Yeah. Now the stem is going to be hard to cut through, but let's just do it like this. Yes, it is very, very, very done. And you see all that steam coming out? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm just going to let this cool off so that I can touch it to scoop out as I'm getting all the liquid everywhere. I'm going to let this cool off while I tape something else, and then we're going to come back. We want to keep the broth that's in the slow cooker, and we want to um, salvage <laughs> the um, squash that's inside um, the spaghetti squash, too. So we'll be back in three, two, one. And we are back. Our squash has slightly cooled. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a spoon to get the seeds out. Um, you can help. It's it's still kind of warm. So um, why, don't you, why don't you let mommy do it this time? Okay. But the next time I make this, you definitely get this job okay. if you want it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and scoop the seeds out. Why don't you be my camera gal, though? Show them what it looks like. You gotta be real careful because ours is really cooked that you don't want to take too much of that um, that really yummy spaghetti squash flesh out. We just want to get the seeds out and the parts that are attached to them. So, yeah. Yep. So we're gonna just set that aside and this is gonna fall right apart for us so that we can just take our spoon and you see how easy that is to just take it want to make sure we don't get the seeds but you can just take it and take big scoopfuls of it and put back in the broth that it cooked in. Are the seeds not good for you? Well the seeds just aren't nice to crunch down on for sure. Mm. Kind of like pumpkin seeds. They, they do and why do you think that might oh, be? Oh right because they're both gourds. They're both gourds. So they're technically it is pumpkin seeds. Yeah. So let's Make sure I don't get seeds in there. Now, if I had cooked this less time, the seeds would be way more distinct than the flesh. You guys have seen us cook spaghetti squash before. This actually makes really easy work of this job. So, and good news is our truck, which was formerly stuck in our yard, is not, is not anymore. So we're very happy about that. Okay. So what we're going to do right off the bat, now that I've got all this, Addie, would you mind um, scraping all of this off into the trash over there? Okay. Okay, so what we've got is we have got uh, our squash in here, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little bit of salt because that's a lot of vegetable right there. Now, our broth is already salty, so we need to remember that. Um, to that, we are going to add... A lot of cheese. So if you are not a cheesy super fan, you might want to add less cheese than what we add. Yes. We base this recipe off of one of our cheesy pasta recipes, and so that's why there's so many cheeses. And when we tasted it, we were like, "Yeah, that's yummy." But if you're not a huge, huge cheese fan, you can always use less. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a half a cup of shredded Parmesan in there. I'm going to get your camera going yes, again. Yes, 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 yes. Got a half a cup of shredded Parmesan. I may use this. A half a cup of shredded mozzarella. Or, I'm sorry, a full cup of shredded mozzarella. If I can get it out of the bowl. There we go. And a full cup of shredded cheddar. together and it's gonna start to become some cheesy goodness well you're they're missing the cheesy goodness kiddo come on camera kid I'm sorry I'm new at this all okay. right but, um, like I mentioned <laughs> like, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video this is a half batch of our original recipe this still makes tons 
So what we're going to do is we're going to keep mixing. And we're, the original recipe called for um, a third cup of heavy cream. But if you remember right, we also have some extra broth in there. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of uh, heavy cream. I didn't fill that up. Just a little bit of heavy cream in there. And mix it up. Now, to get this to its full cheesy uh, potential, yes. we we're going to crank this sucker on high and let those cheeses melt. And we'll be back in three, two, one. And we are finally back. Woo! And our cheese has melted. Addie, do you want to show them how, what kind of cheesy, yummy goodness we have going on in here? Oh. Look at that. The ooey and gooey cheese. So this is something that I never try to pretend is like low carb mac and cheese because that's not what it is it is called cheesy squash yeah cheesy squash and we like it and so i'm going to do a little taste test and see if i need to add more salt and pepper before i serve us up so i'm going to just take a little bit right here well and as you can see it makes a lot i'm gonna do a little taste test it needs salt it does need a little bit of salt and it definitely needs pepper. So we're going to add the pepper. Uh, I'll add some more salt, honey. Yeah, that was that's a little, little. Here we go. And it does. It has a super yummy taste to it. Okay, so give me your plate. All right. There you go. Give it a taste. It's not too hot either because it can we let that squash cool, which I think is a really essential step. Woo! Sweet, savory. Uh huh. I love it. You love it. It's cheesy. It's cheesy. It's sweet. It's savory, and it's low carb. So we can have this mm. every day if we wanted. Mmm. And guys. If you only have spaghetti squash with like marinara sauce, you have got to try this because it definitely gives it a whole, <laughs> a whole different flavor. Mm. I, are you okay? That is so good. Oh, if you guys like this video, what is that? Oh, my phone. There are so many interruptions in this video. Hold on, give me a sec. If you guys like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please click subscribe and become a member of our crock posse, our slow cooking family around here. If you'd like notified, that's a perfect sound. Oh my gosh, yes. If you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the bell called the dingling around here. Yes, the dingling. <laughs> Whatever you do, we hope you love up again. Eat good food. And speak late. Bye guys. Bye. Some more. Yes. Yo, yummy, yummy. There goes the man. Hi. I have new pants. <laughs> I'm just happy he has pants on, guys. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh come on. Um, in. Uh, no, come on. Right. And then when you go by, do this coming. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> it's good seeing you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> That's who got the truck out of the mud. You're welcome. <laughs> Love you guys. guys. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. You can't be looking at that because then your glasses make it go like that. Whoa. Whoa. Where'd it go? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I got handsy. Get your hands off of my butt, woman. I, my hands are not anywhere near your butt. Cheesy spaghetti squash in a slow cooker. <laughs> We're going to show you how to make cheesy spaghetti squash in a slow cooker. All while having a whole lot of fun. Do that again. You were poking up too soon. I know. I was right. being cheesy. <laughs> if you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the page.